wants me more like a more, more like a cow, and I wanted to do a discussion video on OB64. Now it's not. I'm not. I actually want to talk about it in a good light, since so many want to talk about it in a bad light. And this is basically the mostly of the car systems the new one to be imp one to be implemented. Most people saying <coughs> that it is unfair to newer players, which again, while sh but the only the only place it has that they have it in is arcade mode. If you if you want to go just play with the normal four sets of four, you can literally go or you like go to the bound road. You can go play comp. You can go play bound siege and other stuff. It's not restricted. It's like very restricted. It's just to test maps, onslaught and unbound siege. Payload, no matter what, has it. So, yeah, I. And yeah, I still see people, and I feel like these people just haven't gone and looked and saw that the Unbound system is very, very limited. It isn't as expo as massively exposed as, as people would be. I mean, people who don't play it mu as much don't have to deal with the whole people having, like, decks of ten and stuff. They can just go play w with a deck of four and not have to worry about it. And the other thing I want to talk about is with the update we also got tidbits of lore. So we finally, finally, finally know what is going on. I mean, that was like one of the biggest complaints for the longest time is that we had no idea what was going on. But now we do. So it pretty much is a lot like Star Wars with the Empire and Resistance. Except it gets the Master Chief is like, yeah, actually... I, I again, I don't know. There's not a lot much about the Master Chief yet, so we don't really know. But I guess the Master Chief is sort of like the Empire in a sense. But now they're going on a conquest to, as a, to in order to make sure people don't overdeal with magic. Then you got the resistance fighting against them. Along with that, you also got like some outside forces that and characters that that aren't really on either side. Or just our mercenaries for both. So yeah. For the match to, and, I, and I'll go ahead and go through them. So unless you guys want to avoid this. And just wait till you get the, the lore stuff. I suggest you skip this part. Or just cut the video here. If not then just go ahead and let. Then, they, then let's get, get it going. So for the, magistrate, the magistrate side. We have Ash, Fernando, Lex, Leon, Sky, Strix, Terminus, Torvald, Victor, and Vivian. Those are all the champion, all the champions that are on the magic side. That are in lore, in canon, yeah, canon, on the magic side. That I was sort of surprised to see Torva. I was sort of su surprised to see Strix. Everyone else, I sort of imagine. And for as for the resistance, you got Beric, Buck, Cassie, Evie, Inara, Makoa, Pip, Shaolin, Talus, Tyra, and Ying. Again, Sora, Sora not surprising a lot, like, I imagine Tyra, like, I Sora often switch Tyra and Victor, or imagine they fought the same side, but now with Vivian, in looks like Victor is more so Magistrate while Resistance. That also explains why Tyra's gun is much different than Victor's. As now, going on for to the other forces that work, you also got, you got the Dark Forces, with Androxus and Mal, they are more or less out on to appease their gods or curse because Androx cursed. They got nature forces, you got which is more or less consists of Willow and Grover. They are more or less trying to stop humanity altogether, so not really care for either side. And now you got the unknown side, which again we don't know yet. There's no like more lore to it. Hopefully in the future they can clarify which side is on, who's on which. But at the at the moment it seems as though these are more or less the outliers. So you got Maven and that says more or less marks for both sides. And then you got Zen, Grok, Ruckus, DK, Drogos, Genos, and Seros, who are just or either unknown or on neither side. But Zen not being quite not, he's not joining either side as he sees it better just for the tooth to fight without them getting involved. 
Be as the rest of them, there's no. They have not really declared an alliance yet. They're more or less outliers. And I really like how they add this, and then they also add like posters to propaganda all over the maps now. Like, I actually find that kind of interesting because now we're finally getting to the lore. So maybe this this is a red flag about about us being done with getting new characters, which. To all be to be honest, I'm pretty sure we're at like 34, 35. In which case, I'm like excuse me, <laughs> I'm think that's much better than uh, our watches. I think they have like 25 or 26. Like I think they got three this year. They got Doomfist. They got the new hero. I can't remember her name. And you got Arissa. And lastly, you got Anna and Sonya. Yeah, I think they got, and they still have a 20, so I guess 25, while we, Paladins have, like, a massive 34, or 35. So, not that bad. Not that bad, and we're finally actually getting lore. We're getting to understand the alliances, the legions, what's actually going on. Which, I, like, the only time we have, like, I think they, that's why, like, they stopped doing lore, because before this, there used to be little tips and bits of lore on the wiki, but now all that's gone. Like, you go on the wiki now for Eevee or older characters, you won't find anything. You won't find anything because they only have lore right there. And yeah. Um, I think that's really much it. Again, uh, people were complaining about the new legendaries, how they might shift the balance. Some are pretty good, like Mouse. Many spirit able to hurt people, it gives them another way to actually defend themselves rather than just spit reload and try to run away. He now can like apply our massive um damage over time thing to people and actually might be able to be actual combat effective. Uh General Sis new ability it's eh. It slowers the fire rate just so you get a little burst. 340, I think. Which. Which is good long if you stay in the back, but if you're trying to try and use the best combat, don't use that card. Uh, Ruckus got a new guy's missile card, which is more or less like advanced, where it gets like 3 instead of 1. Again, sort of okay, but again. <laughs> Advanced shielding is just much better. Renan's fireball card is bleh. It's just bleh. Maybe it's just because I have level 1 and all, but it's just bleh. It is bleh. At level 1, it only does 85. It's popped. <laughs> so that's a little low. I think, like, a lot of the other ones are just, like, Can't think of any better ones. Again, you, you got um, grenade, a new grenade, a legendary card for grenades. Victor, Vivian got oh Vivian oh yeah Vivian ha now has her um um I don't know what it's called. Sense of mind, a sense of mind. It now can explode if whenever people are around it. So if you in a fight, you can throw that down and give a good burst of damage. So that's good. So I am at lower level, it's at level 1, so I imagine how, how OP that's going to be when it's like level like 5 or 10. Of all the cards that are going to be maxed at level 5, nope, level 10. That was a surprise. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I Again, a lot of people are probably just overblowing it because of the fact of Battlefront 2's card system, but people also forget Paladins have as a gold currency beyond the crystal currency it's not really that hard to just save up like 20 2500 or 7500 to get chests i again people are just overloading it i so i like the new card system i like the I, I like the new map i mean it's sort of small and like some like the other like both people do battle on top of the like in the middle or to the on t on the two sides up top. They don't go in the corridors. 
from what I've seen. Which, like, I even remember that map. That map, I remember playing that map before it got released. So, yeah, I'm just, like, that, when I first played it, I was like, Oh, right, I remember this map. I remember playing it before it got fully released. Which begs the question what they're going to do about the new, two new other maps. The one, I believe there's one that's more or less, oh, it's still unfinished, but it looks a lot, lot like the setup for a new, um, um, ice mine. The new ice mine looks like, because, like, it's so, so much similar, but it's like, I don't think they're going to go, like, replace the ice mine, but it just looks so similar. It looks a lot less similar. Like, the way it's set up, but it's just more, like, it's more open. And much more open. So, maybe they're making it a bit more open. I don't know. And then you got the other one that looks like to be an underground. So, maybe a second one, a second prestige area for the mines. But, yeah. That's it. Sorry, I'm rambling at this point. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't like it. Again, people probably overblown it because of the whole Battlefront 2 controversy. But if you haven't played it and you're still a maker, just go play it. If you don't like the car, the new card system, you worry about it. Just go. It's literally go on to siege and then you choose between bound siege, payload, or comp. So again, you don't have to play quick. Play, that's just an option. You can, if you want to go practice, like for comp, you can have to just go do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.